Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Guys, you're not going to believe this, but uh, I just filmed 43 minutes of me playing, absolutely raking, absolutely raking, and uh, somehow the screen capture didn't work and it didn't record anything. But I'm still going to put up me talking. Just know that I raked, okay? Well, you're going to find out here in a second, okay? I'm pretty upset that it didn't record. I don't know what happened, but here we go. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Back with another episode of Road to the Show. Today I'm going with my redneck Lake Elsinore Storm hat right here. So um, this was uh, 2007, high A, Lake Elsinore Storm. In the minor leagues, a lot of times you'll have different types of nights like rock and roll night or redneck night. Um, and so you get different hats and different jerseys. And so we're going to throw this on tonight, a little redneck night. Um, enjoyed that night a lot. So, uh, let's see, what do we got going on here? We're on the bus here to, uh, to Mississippi, um, or are we going home to play Mississippi? I think we're going home to play Mississippi, that's what it is. They're not doing very well this year, hopefully we jump on them. I got a couple things to cover before we go. First off, thank you all so much for all the shout-outs to Lara. That was fantastic. I think we got like almost 600 comments, and most of them were aimed at her. And uh, she appreciates the love, so thank you very much. Uh, she's still not here with me tonight. I tried to talk her into it, and uh, she was close. But, um, I don't know, maybe she'll surprise us here in a little bit. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to talk about? Um, so I've been messing around with Diamond Dynasty. You guys probably saw uh, last night I threw up a video. Uh, don't worry, Road to the Show is still my main thing. Like, I'm going to be playing this a lot. The, the Diamond Dynasty, I'm just kind of messing around with it. So I'll throw one up every now and then. But it's going to mostly be, you know, I'm a selfish guy, okay? And so I'm trying to get back to the big leagues. Um, and so I don't care about all those other baseball cards and stuff. Every now and then, maybe, fine, okay? But uh, we're worrying about my guy and Richie Givens, okay? We don't care about Richie Givens. We're worried about my guy. Uh, let's see, what else? A couple other things before we get going. Um, the... Uh, my throw against the Brewers, I found the video, and so I'm going to throw that up at some point soon. Um, also, we've got Spider-Man in the background, so today's my son's birthday. He turned five. We had a party for him uh, today. I'll throw his swing up in a minute. We did, like, some kickball and hitting and stuff. Um, it was a baseball slash Spider-Man theme, so he wore, base he wore baseball pants and a Spider-Man shirt, and then he had a Spider-Man cake. Spider-Man, the Spider-Man everything except there were baseball bats and balls there. So, and it was at a baseball indoor complex uh, where we do all our stuff. So, um, and uh, so my wife's upstairs right now actually, um, and she is wrapping a few more presents for him. And I got a question. She, uh, so she ended up getting him seven presents, which I think is a lot of presents for a birthday. Uh, for a five-year-old, um, and so she originally had four presents for him. She had three. He likes Legos, so she had three like big Lego things, like a Lego Batmobile and Lego. Like he likes superheroes and Batman and Spider-Man and all that stuff. So she got him a bunch of that stuff. Well, a bunch of his friends ended up getting him Legos, and so he's opening them at his party, and uh, and he's like, "Why is everyone getting me Legos?" And then my wife got all scared because she got him Legos, but she hadn't given him the presents yet. And uh, so then she went out and bought him three video games. And so now he has seven presents. Tell me if that seems a little bit outrageous. I feel like Lara is, um, I don't know, spoiling him a little bit. Seven presents, a lot of presents. I mean, I want him to be happy, but let's not, uh, you know, that's, that's just a lot of presents, okay? Let me know what you think. And I think that's all we have. So let's get into a game here. I actually wanted to uh, change my walkout song. And I forgot to do that. Um, I've also, I was messing around with um, some of those things in Diamond Dynasty a little earlier. So I've been playing a little bit. So although I haven't played a Road to the, sh uh, road to the Show in a little bit, uh, my, my batting hopefully will be a little bit improved. All right, let's see what we have to do today. Let's go in the batting cage and hit. And let's work on our contact. Let's work on pitch recognition, uh, plate vision, plate discipline. Let's just keep doing, building our contact up. I need more contact. Where are we hitting? Hitting in the five hole. The other team's struggling. They are all freezing cold. What do we got for us? Kyle's still in the nine hole. Richie's in the seven. 
All right, Rich, Brendan Geyer's a little cold. Let's rock and roll. I'm excited to get back to doing this. Haven't done it in a couple days. Oh, by the way, I just made an incredible purchase today. I can't tell you guys what it is. It's a secret. Hopefully you find out soon. Probably going to take a little while, but I'll bust it out when the time is right. See if you can guess what it is. It has something to do with the Road to the Show series. All right, let's go. 313 with a 515 slugging and an 833 on base plus slugging. Okay. Oh, I forgot that I wanted to put on um, guess the pitch thingy, but I forgot. Sorry, guys. I'll do that. Um, I'm going to take a break. I don't even know how to turn it on. I'm going to have to do some digging, but... Oh, almost killed the first base coach. All right. Two-seam slider, change up and sweeping curve. Ah! Felt like I was on both of those pitches. Moving the PCI around a little bit. Just missed that one. I was late, though. All right. One, two. On the yeah! On over the his back. head. Right here. Uh, so I wanted to go to second there, but I, I was trying to peek to see what the runner was doing, if he was going or not, and, uh, oh, he should have had that, honestly. But we'll take it. Okay, two outs, 1-1 one, one count. We're going first move. I feel like I'm starting to play the game a little bit more with the Diamond Dynasty and stuff. I mean, I'm probably going to get picked off in the next pitch, but I do feel a little bit more comfortable. I feel like the game's starting to slow down for me. Popped him up. Just going to keep running. All right. Back to center field. So we have two outs, nobody on base. Come on. That a baby. Way to run it down. I'd like you to call it a little louder. Couldn't really hear you there. When are we going to hit again? Let's go. Come on, Matt. Get ready. Oh, it's shallow. Why did it take him so long? I got to back up here. Back up. Jeez Louise. I mean, I like playing a little bit of defense, but I don't want to play defense on every batter, especially when they're not hitting me the ball. Run, Matt. Run. Run. Relay. Relay. Cut it. Cut it. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. You know, I need a louder, I got it call, okay? Three times. We teach it three times, not once. Three times. And I got it. Not just ball, because that's, you know, ball. I want, I got it. I got it. I got it. Let me know. Two outs, man on first. Ah! Mm. Ball couldn't have been a better pitch, and I was very late for it. Good take. All right, 1-1. One, one. Man. Moved the PCI a little bit on that one. All right, 1-2 here. Got to protect. Ah! What was that? A little change up there? Something a little low down the zone. I had to try to battle and put it in play, but... All right, first and second. Two outs. I am going back to X this game. Mmm, a little slider. Okay, 85 on our slider. It's a pretty good slider right there. Come on, got to pick him up here. Yes! Almost took his head off. Watch the throw. White... Okay, I definitely forgot the buttons. How do I peek and see where the runner, where the runners are going? I'm hitting L2. I don't, like, I want to see if that guy rounds there or not. I mean, there was a runner in front of me, so I guess there wasn't much I could do anyway, but I did want to see that runner. All right, one, two, two outs off on the crack of the bat. So we're going to miss. Brandon's struggling here. I'm going to have to move my boy Richie up behind me. Give me some protection. Okay, 3 nothing. 1 2. This game's taking forever because I got to play defense a ton. Back, Matt! Oh, that went out. Did that go out? That went out. Man, oh man. I tried to lay out there, but he didn't lay out. I guess 
they realized if he did, he would have gotten paralyzed into the wall. All right, 321. Same pitcher. All right, nobody out. Here's the question. Do I lay down a bunt here and move both runners over? No, I'm feeling it. Late. <sighs> Very late. Hit speed, 79 is a changeup? Oh, hit speed, sorry, not pitch speed, oh boy. 93. One thing I'm doing also in this game right now is I don't feel like I'm guessing pitches as much. Mm, maybe I should be because I swung when that ball hit the catcher's mitt. This guy's got a little sneaky fastball here. Put in play, got a battle. You're lucky, if he called strike three on me right there, I'm getting ejected. Gonna go something slow finally, everything's been hard. Yep, curveball. Bad breaking ball though, it didn't break at all. Wow, that's my second walk of the year. That's how you can tell I've been playing the game a little bit more. I mean, I know that ball was like six feet off the plate, but I didn't even flinch. Usually I'm I'm going after everything. It's a nice game I'm putting together right now. Two for three with a walk, seeing pitches. Oh, Brandon's got a hit tonight. I was going to say, there's no chance he gets a hit. All right, bases loaded. Back in the line here. Can't get doubled off on a line. Can't kill a rally. Walk them. It's not really a rally. We're winning, but can't kill a big inning, I should say. Come on, Rich. Of course, it's a hit parade, and Rich is 0 for 3. Okay, same thing. Got to be back on the line. We're going on the ground. Matt! 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 I just said back on a line. I just said it. Guy's uncoachable. I got a story I got to tell you after this game about being uncoachable, okay? I don't know if you guys have heard this story before, but I got to tell you. Running fastball splitter, sweeping curve. Three-pitch guy. Drive the corner and missed. Okay, thank you. Come on, groove one for me. He grooved it. I'm so excited for that pitch. Man, oh man, it's like right there. Mm, a little up. I mean, it's not up, but it's a little bit higher than where I swung. All right, got a battle. This guy's got a little paw, like a little hesitation in his leg lift. Stand up, stand up. Look at the runner. Guys, you got to. <laughs> You know, we said earlier that I, I thought my guy had been out drinking too late at night. I almost dropped it again, but I mean, he's hitting too well to be out drinking. But it's almost like he's trying to do something to get benched or set or, or sent down to, to single A. I don't understand it. I don't even know why he left the base there. Anyways, please help me figure out again, how do I look? I want to look over to the guy at third to see if he's rounding and scoring. Three for four, though. We're definitely raking. And my practice is definitely paying off. If my coach says one thing to me after this game, I swear I will blow a gasket. Go back! Oh my god, that ball's destroyed. Play it off the wall! Oh, back! <laughs> Throw it in! Oh my god, we just gave up a home run! <laughs> This has been an, uh, just an odd game. Matt, you should be embarrassed. You, they shouldn't even allow you to put your, your whatever the hell that is right there. You shouldn't even be allowed to. Thank God you can rake. Because you can't freaking run the bases and you can't play center field. Okay, before we go to the next game, I got two things. One, my this chair... My butt's hurting right now. Okay, so hold on. We're going to put this here. I need a little bit of cushion. Oh, that feels much better. 
Hopefully I'm not out of the view now. I'm not up that much higher, I don't think. Okay, we're going to play another game in a second, but hold on one sec. So I talked about being uncoachable. Let me tell you this story real fast. So if you guys know my story at all, when I was with the Padres, you know, I had a lot of hitting coaches, struggled for a little bit. Some people say struggle for a lot. And, um, you know, one thing I learned during my five years is that you can't just listen to everyone, right? Try to make everybody happy. And that's one thing I did at times during my career is like 50 hitting coaches would come to me and I would just do everything they said. One coach would say, stand taller. I'd be like, okay, coach. And then one coach would say, um, spread your feet out more. Okay, coach. And then one coach would say, put your hands up higher. I'd say, okay, coach. And then the next coach would say, put your hands down lower. I'd say, okay, coach. And you just do that. i say, okay, to everybody. And before you know it, I don't, I, you know, I, I feel like I'm standing like this and I don't know how to hit anymore. And, um... So I learned that you can't just say yes and okay to everyone, right? It's okay sometimes to talk to a coach and say, you know, I've tried this before. You know, I don't feel comfortable with it. Whatever. Have a conversation. So my first year over with the Nationals, like a couple days in the spring training, um, the one of the coaches, the coordinator over there, hitting coordinator, came over and said, hey, Matt, um, you know, we got to get you to stand with your feet closer together, and we got to get you to have a little bit bigger of a stride, and got to stay on top of the ball more, and all this stuff. And it was a lot of the stuff that I'd already tried previously, and it didn't really work. I didn't feel comfortable with it. So for the first time in my life, my professional career, I said, you know, coach, you mind if I talk to you for a little bit? Now I'm calling him coach because he wasn't a manager; he was a roving hitting coach. And he said, sure thing. And I explained to him. I said, you know, in the past, I've, I've you know, tried some of these things and I didn't find them to be successful, wasn't very comfortable with them. And where I'm at right now, I feel really comfortable, work really hard this off season. And I said, uh, I'm totally willing to listen and take your advice and, and do what you're asking me. But I would just ask if I could have a couple days just to, to, to get comfortable and see if this works. And if it doesn't work, you know, I'd be more than happy to, to um, put my feet closer together and take a bigger stride and all that stuff. And uh, I was really proud of myself that I said that because I never said that with the Padres. And he said, yeah, no, no problem at all, man. That's, that sounds great. Uh, and then the next day, I got a call from my agent. I picked up the phone, and uh, my agent, I said, yo, what's up, Andrew? And he said, uh, what the hell did you do? And I'm like, what do you mean, what the hell did I do? And he's like, I just got a call from the Nationals, and the front office is saying that you are uncoachable. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? And he's like, I don't know. What did you say? Who did you talk to? And I was like, uh, I'm thinking, I'm like, uh, I mean, I guess I talked to the, the hitting coordinator and, and told him, you know, I, I, I didn't, I explained everything to him. And uh, so, <laughs> apparently, I'm uncoachable, or I was uncoachable. I was too coachable for the first five years of my career, and then I became uncoachable very quickly. So, just it reminded me when I just mentioned being coachable or not being coachable. Um, I guess it's true. All right, Matt, let's go. Last four games, I'm raking. Okay, four seam, change up, slider, three pitch guy. What do we got? One out, nobody on. <clears throat> Another solid mustache here. No, beat it, beat it. <clears throat> Looks like Kanye West umpire in there. Laura, are you coming on? Spider-Man? He's right behind me. But you can only get to him if you get in view of the camera. Come on. Laura! We caught it. Come on. Redneck Night, 2007. Better not a mess with my mojo. I've been raking today. All right, man on first, two outs. You gonna watch from right there? Ball high. You can't just stand there and you can't just stare at me. <clears throat> I'm under that. Yeah, I'm way under that. Ah, late. I'm on the breaking stuff better, but I'm late to fastballs today. Okay. 
let's regroup now. I think I feel like I got a little cocky. Now I got to get back to slowing the game down a little bit here. Getting your pitch. There it is. Get in the gap. Come on. Got to get on three. Got to get on three. Got to get on three. Nope. Got to stay there. That's the way, Matt. That's the way. Get your pitch. Ted Williams said it. Number one thing, being a good hitter, is get a good pitch to hit. Come on, Rich. Every time I see you, you're 0 for something. 0 for 2 again. Two strikeouts. Do I steal third here? Get a lead. Get a lead, Matt. Extend. Yeah, I'd be frustrated too, Richie. Keep it up. We can't be friends anymore because you're going to be cut or back in single A. Come on, Steve. Hitting 357. You're raking. Wasn't L1 to extend the lead? R1 extend the lead? How do I extend the lead? Come on! You're going! You're going! Oh, get in the gap, ball! Come on! He's got to catch that. Yeah. Okay. All right, man on first, two outs. Uh, this guy's got everything. A, a two-seam, a slider, a change-up, a curveball, a sinker. He likes his two-seam and his slider. Yeah, there it was right there. Not very hard. 87, huh? This guy's just slow with everything. Slow wind up. And slow fastball. Two straight fastballs. Did you come breaking ball finally? Yep. Mm, missed it. Yeah. Just missed it. Oh, dig, dig, dig. You're Little scoring. Up. Take it easy, buddy. He caught it. Is that the manager with the stash, too? He looked like yesterday. No. Wait a minute. That guy was the pitcher. He's a player coach. I mean, I guess he could just be a starting pitcher that's now on the bench. But, I mean, they made it look like he was uh, the manager right there. Nah, I guess they're giving him a high five like he's the winning pitcher. That guy looks like he's, you know, 78 years old behind him with the gray hair. Okay, one for four. Disappointing. Darn. Play a game. Let's go. Come on, guys. We can't be losing the Mississippi. Wind's blowing out. Okay, man. Nobody on. One out. Let's catch something out here, will we? Back. I got it. Got it, baby. Good job, Matt. All right, Matt. Let's go. Let's get back to getting good pitches to hit. Guy's got a four seam, a curveball, a splitter. He likes that curveball, looks like. There it is. Pretty tight curveball right there. 83. It's a good breaking ball. I'd like it too. If I threw it 83 miles an hour. He's going to groove a fastball here, though. Try to get ahead of me. Bad idea. Oh, splitter. I hate splitters. Okay, this guy's one of those guys that doesn't want to throw a fastball, baby. Man, oh man, this guy's going to break and ball me to death. Yeah, step out, Matt. You know what? Call time, Matt. No, that's not how you call time. How do you call time? I forget. Call time. Time. Time! Whew. Okay. He went breaking ball, splitter, breaking ball. Fastball up, or he just tries to bury something in the ground here. Yeah. Buried in the ground. That away. Literally buried it in the ground. Okay. He's gone four straight off-speed pitches. At this point, why not go five off-speed pitches? He could always go fastball up, but... You throw 98 and you don't want to throw a fastball. Now here, I mean, he could go anything. Go fastball, though. Mm, what oh, you... beat it out, beat it out, beat it out. 
What did he throw there? I don't even know what that was. Is that a splitter? I'm not sure. How do you throw 98 and you throw 90% off speed pitches? I got it. Back up, Matt. There you go. So I know I said that you got to make the I got it, I got it, I got it three times. Unless it's like routine. If it's right to you like that and you're not going anywhere, it's just an I got it. But if you're running, you got to be loud and you got to call it three times. Look at, look at this. Guy likes to throw down the zone. Come on, leave a fastball right here for me. Yup. Shopping at the Gap. Is it still a store? I think it is, actually. Yeah. My wife gets stuff for our kids there. Nice job. I knew he was going to groove me a fastball right there. Last at bat, he shows me so many off-speed pitches. Next at bat, he's like, okay, now the guy's thinking I throw a lot of off-speed pitches. I'm going to try to get a fastball by him here. Got a tag in the air. Right there. No, Matt, 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 Matt. Down. Good. Just trying to draw a throw, you know, move the guy up to second base. I know you guys in the comments, you helped me out. You said just don't press anything. Like, just... You're good. You don't have to press down to stop. Just don't press anything. Kyle, 216. How are you in the lineup every day? Okay. On the ground, I'm going. Anywhere on the ground, I'm going. In the air, I got a tag. Go. Slide for fun. Double play. So sorry, Kyle. You don't even get the RBI, but I get the run scored. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so now if I'm him, I go right back to the off speed. You can't groove another fastball. I'm going to sit in a breaking ball and crush it. Oh, my God, he threw a fastball. I was there, too. I was right there. Sorry, headphone wearers. I just screamed. Mm, right to him. Oh, what a play. Sorry, Matt. I haven't had one of those in a while. Don't get down. Everything's going to be all right. What do we got here? Four seam, slider, change up, first and second, two outs, drive them in, baby. Pick up the ball, stand right here on the bag, on the bag. Topped it. Ah, <sighs> darn. This guy's name Dewey? It is. Is he a real guy? Back. Come on. Don't let a guy named Dewey hit it over your head. Good job. Whoa. Getting fancy here. It's six hits over three games. I didn't get that. I feel like I just got like ten hits. We lost again. One for four. Man. Play again. One more game. Got to get some games played here. Wind's blowing right now. Been hitting a lot of balls in right center field gap. Come on, David. Well, five for 12 for two doubles in the series. I mean, I'm swinging it. Okay, dynamic challenge. Driving a run without recording an out. So I can't hit a sack fly. There's a guy on third, obviously. Make contact with every swing. No, I'm just going to drive a run without recording an out. That's easy. Bases loaded. Woo! Four seam, curveball, change up, cutter, slurve. Ah, generous. Another good mustache. Mississippi likes their mustaches. This guy... There it is. Told you. It's a bad call, by the way, Mr. Umpire, sir. Yeah, you better not call that a strike, too. Come on, now. He's got so many pitches. I can't sit on any, anything. Just going to see the ball and hit it. Got to throw harder than 91 if I'm going to chase a ball that high. 
Come on, groove it right here. Should I go square? No, no, no. I'm going X. Line shot in the gap. Mmm, just a bit lower than I thought. Well, I'm going to get an RBI, but I'm going to lose my challenge. It's okay. Dude, somebody tell Eric Burns out there that you don't, I mean, you're not throwing the guy at the plate there. And I love Eric Burns. And I love when he throws the ball at the plate. Wow. It's a great beer. But there's no need to throw and tumble there. Like, you're not throwing the guy at the plate. I just feel like he's going to groove me a fastball right here for some reason. I was wrong. But I took it. It's good hitting. Man, I'm right on that. How early am I? Very early. Mm. Not biting, buddy. Bring it down a little bit right here. No! Ay, ay, ay. I saw that little breaking ball. Just dropped a little bit more than I thought it was going to. It's not a bad pitch. i throw it again. Watch it, bro. All right, groove a fastball right here. Mmm, in the gap. Let's go. You don't, you don't have to tell me to make the turn. The ball's in front of me. I just crush it in the gap. I know it's a stand-up double. I mean, they got the first baseman trailing. He's supposed to be trailing, but he was leading for some reason. On that ball, ball's hitting the gap like that. Shortstop's the lead man. Second baseman's the trail man. Setting up the three. First baseman should be on the inside of first base. Watch me touch the bag and then trail on the inside is how it should work. Okay. Here we go. Tag it in the air. Hit a ball to the right side here. Tag. 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 Okay, that ball's destroyed. I don't have to tag. Who hit that? Hey, Geyer. That a baby. I knew it wasn't Richie. Boom! What does this ball land? Oh, made it over by like three feet. A left fielder didn't even... I mean, I'd be mad if I was the pitcher. The left fielder didn't move an inch, and the ball made it over by three feet. You've got to at least give it an honest effort. Just a little jog, make your pitcher feel a little bit better. It's like giving the finger, basically just standing there and not even looking for where the ball lands. That's generous. What is going on here? Yeah, I'd give him a little bit of lip too, Matt. Freaking hitting 320 whatever. Thank you. This guy's got every pitch in America too. No, no, no. Come on, groove a fastball right here. Do not throw me a splitter. Mm. Get up! Uh, that it away! Up, up. Right here. Nice play. That's the way to groove me a fastball. All right, let's go. We're off. Hey, that ball was hit hard. Good job. Thank you. Get a lead, Matt. Got to get down. Did I'm out? How do I challenge? That ball's thrown on the other side of the base. Matt! See, this is what I'm talking about. He slides in. And his foot, I should have went head first. I didn't know, why didn't I go head first? His foot is way up here. Just go, put your foot into the bag. You beat the throw. I teach this guy freaking everything. Get on three. 
Stay right. No, oh, Matt. Get. What are you doing? God. Come on, Brandon. Three to one. They treat Geyer like he's Babe Ruth. I've got 50 hits in the last four games. Keep throwing me fastballs. I like it. Who's up? Richie? Yeah, I would have walked them too. And why does Rich even bring a bat up to the plate with him? I still don't understand. Come on, Rich! Come on, go hard. Rich! You're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring! Nope. I knew it was too good to be true. Richie might be a righty. That could be his problem. Okay. Come on, let's flash some leather out here. Let's go. And easy. Suave. Bad a baby. God. Reach him. I need a cutoff, man. Okay, let's see. I'm an all star now. Four seam. Slider change in two seam. Back when I was in AAA and I was sucking. Uh, Whenever I get first and third like this, I'd push bunt to the right side. I'd get an RBI. I'd move the runner up to second. I'd get a sacrifice. Um, so I get an RBI, a sacrifice, and if I beat it out, I got a hit. It was the best of, of both worlds. Uh, I'm not going to do that right here, though. <clears throat> There's a little two-seam fastball again that cuts. This guy got four-seam slider, change up two-seam. Likes his fastball, likes his slider a little bit. I mean, there it is again. That thing's cutting. Only 4,000 people at the game today. Come on, guys. Get the best player in the league right here. I won't be here for long, so you, you might want to come out and watch me before I'm in Chicago. Mmm, <clears throat> I saw that. Still missed it. All right, just put in play, man. Just put it in play. Get an RBI. They won't double you up. Not going to get me to bite on that. Last week, maybe. Not today. Thanks. Someone just yelled, come on, Matt. Bring him home. Not today, big boy. If I had Richie hitting behind me, I would have already been intentionally walked. That was a good pitch right there. All right, we'll take it. It's a good game. Sorry, guys. I'm screaming a lot today, and I'm probably going to wake up my son. And Lara's going to come down and strangle me with that Spider-Man balloon. And they show Brandon. I mean, how many hits does a guy have to get? Three for four. Let's go back to the clubhouse. All right, so there's a solid four games right there. My hitting ability is improving, I would say. What do you guys think? Let me know. Um, but I felt pretty good. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't given it a thumbs up by now. That'd be awesome if you could. Um, oh, what do we got here? I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to add this guy to my rotation. Mm. I mean, maybe no. I mean, maybe. Um, I'm not going to put him anywhere. Just put him on the bench somewhere. Ooh, what do we got here, Skip? We're going to look to get you back in your primary position, Matt. Your versatility is a plus, though, and we will call it when necessary. Okay. Whatever the club needs, Skip. I enjoy helping the team in a different role, but it will be nice to get back to something. Final <laughs> Finally. <laughs> okay. How did I do oh, Matt, don't ask stupid questions. Getting close to that three. 
whatever that does for me. Sounds like you know where you want to play. Do you want a coach to give you advice in developing your skills to move in that direction? Sure. Oh God, I got to talk to Juan again. Matt, the more a player's skill set is a fit for a given position, the higher they'll be valued in that role. Which position do you want to talk about? Infield. I play second base. My name's Matt Antonelli. I've been here for two months. Do you remember me? Most importantly, second base requires great fielding skills, speed and agility. Oh, ability, not agility. It does require agility. Get on base or a plus. Arm strength is not necessary. Well, good thing I have a cannon. You know what? I'm good. I don't want to talk to you. You're bringing nothing useful to the table here. This isn't Little League. We're all professional players. We actually get paid. About $1,200 a month. No, double A, $1,700 a month. Okay, guys. I feel good right now, but um, I probably should go upstairs and help uh, wrap some more presents.